Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about a controversial to topic with uh, Gal Gadot and Joss Whedon. This article came out uh, a week or two ago and it's it came out in a time where Jay, uh, Ray, Ray Fisher also had uh, it happened in a time where Ray Fisher during the Justice League uh, uh, movie set on the first one with like Ray Fisher and uh, and Joss Whedon and Zack Snyder and from what I read uh, Gal Gadot also had um, some issues with Joss Whedon um I've been a I've been a fan of DC and DC comics since I was a child. I binged or I watched religiously almost every episode of um the animated TV show for Justice League back when I was a kid. I watched the Batman animated TV shows I I've watched um, most every DC comics since um 2000 like 6 7 and I've been getting disgusted at what Warner Brothers is doing to the mythos of DC and what they're doing to their actors. Like for example, the I'm sure you you guys have heard of it, but the uh, the way that Wonder Brothers announced their black Superman, the black Superman uh that they're introducing and they announced it on Harry Cavill's birthday. <laughs> like what like compare that to marvel who who when for example when um how what was what was i thinking yeah compare that to marvel for example when that same that same week they released their phase 4 um uh going forward movies that they're in TV shows that they're planning and the amount of content that they're that they're doing is is really like noticeable and like they beat DC like props to Marvel like they they beat DC like DC can't say anything um, it keeps it keeps going one step forward and then two steps back, especially especially another thing that irked me especially when after Justice League, uh, the Zack Snyder's Justice League came out, they blatantly released a 4K version of Joss Whedon Justice League. <laughs> I didn't even watch that. <laughs> um. I watched the first one in theaters and it, it just eh. Um, but yeah, I've been, I've been hearing, um, about the actions of Joss Whedon and how bad of a human being he is. Now I don't know him. Um, I condemned all of that sort of behavior, maybe on and off set. Um, one of the first things that you learn on in film school uh, that I was taught that I was taught is that you always need to be nice on set and um, always always have good behavior, like have like like have just good behavior on set. You don't need to be like a dick about on set. Like everyone's working hard on on your set, so you don't need to like 
be be annoying or mean or even sexist or anything just be nice and that will reciprocate when you want to apply to a, for like a new film and you need like uh crew members and actors and you can call them up and maybe because you were nice to them they'll agree to work or when one of them has a film or tv show coming up or any type of content coming up they can recommend you to the producer there so that you can get a job um and apparently that's not what Joss Whedon <laughs> knows how to do and he's like destroying his career I've read I've read memes and tweets and um Instagrams and news articles that just portray him as a horrible human being. Um now I don't wanna say anything um controversial but just you should just be nice on set. So we'll read that article up again. Uh, here is the article from the Hollywood Reporter. Um, Gagado says Joss Whedon threatened my career during Justice League reshoot. Think about that for a second. Think about that. What sort of director just threatens some someone's career during a set? The actress claims the director said if I did something, he would make my career miserable. Confirming an earlier the Hollywood Reporter story about toxic behavior on set. Wow. I just, I just, I just can't. <laughs> While appearing on Israel's N12 News, to discuss her role as Wonder Woman, Gal Gadot claimed Justice League director Joss Whedon threatened her career, confirming previous reporting by the Hollywood Reporter. In the interview, N12's Yuna Lebson mentioned to Gadot how previous reporting of her experiences with the director, including him, included him not approving of her trying to make changes in her character. He even said you should be pretty and say your line. You should just be pretty and say your lines. You weren't going to let him get away with it. Um, to which the actress reply, responded, no. That is messed up. That is messed up. That is bad directing. Like, in our acting class, we had like a sort of acting class. And the teacher was like, when you're directing, because like we were learning how to like direct actors, and the teacher was like, when you're directing, you should um, allow actors some leeway to make some changes to the character so they can be more comfortable, and so the the story can if the if the changes fit the character well, uh, you should just go with it, and clearly that's not what they're doing here um the way Warner Brothers handled this is messed up what I had with Josh basically is that he kind of threatened my career and said if I did something he would make my career miserable I, ha I handled it on the spot you go girl the claim comes after a month after the Hollywood reporter spoke with Justice League actor Jay Fisher Ray Fisher I mean why do I keep reading Jay? Ray Fisher regarding Whedon's toxic behavior on set and a subsequent investigation by Warner Media. In the same story, the Hollywood Reporter reported that Godot had multiple concerns with the revised version of the film, including issues about her character being more aggressive than her character in Wonder Woman. She wanted to make the character flow from one movie to the next. It's true. There are also many, if like if you, if you guys have ever watched, um, videos comparing the 
Zack Snyder Justice League and then Josh Whedon Justice League, he have a lot of uh shots that showed Wonder Woman in like a more like a sexist way or sexy success way. Um like there was one shot I can't remember. <laughs> but yeah. You guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> what I have with Joss basically is that he kind of took my career he said that a few times now. And said if I did something he will make my career Oh, I'm re- reading that again. Did those comments also support uh, the THR's reporting that when we don't push Gado to record lines she didn't like, they threatened to harm her career and disparage one woman director Patty Jenkins. A witness on the production who later spoke to investigators says that after one crash, Doss was bragging that he's at it out with Gal. He told her he's a writer and she's going to shut up and say the lines. He can make her look incredible, incredibly stupid in this movie. This is messed up on the whole other level. Like, how messed up do you have to be? Like, if you're going to do stuff like this, just don't be a director. Just don't be a director. Don't be on set. Like, Warner Brothers, handle this better. This is, this is why I, I am beginning to dislike Warner Brothers. Because even, like, the way they handle Ray Fisher... They just fired him from, like, the Cyborg movie and as, as playing Cyborg. Like, if they had handled that better and just uh, investigated and... I'm pretty sure they investigated. But if that handled it better, then it would have been good. But nope. They fired Ray Fisher, who was a perfect Cyborg, by the way. He was, he was, I, I really liked him as Cyborg. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's Wonder Brothers for you. That's Wonder Brothers. Um, it makes me really mad. Because they have a plethora of stories. Um, their character is way more well known than, than Marvel. So they could, they could literally be making a bunch of movies if they had good stories and the good writers. And even then, if they just continued Zack Snyder's universe, uh, universe uh, films, they could have their own uh, movie universe and just make Zack Snyder's universe be its own universe and then let them continue their own multiverse because they're already doing that with... Um, with, uh, with the black Superman that they're doing, they're already doing that. They already connected the movie, uh, Flash to the TV show Flash during, uh, uh, CW's Flash Crisis that they were, that they were having. So that, that already happened. They're already connected. So that so the TV show Flash is already like another universe, and um, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, but I don't know, I don't, I don't know if like they need to change their top people, so get someone like Kevin Feige, who is uh doing really well with Marvel. Just get someone like him who cares about the comics and cares about the characters. And yeah, I uh, hope you guys like this video. If you did, please comment down below and press like and subscribe. And peace.